on, guys. So, sitting inside this car, windows are up because the fans are on. It's a hot one. Um, EP3, you're going to see some video footage of it. And this one, I, I can only go off of what I know. And I'm going to ask the customer and get some more feedback from him. Uh, as far as I know, this car was driven on the street. It drove here. Um, I was able to do a baseline pull on it. Um, and I'll say early on in the video, if you're here just for the peak dyno numbers, uh, we're not gonna not gonna show that. A lot more customers just don't want them to be shown. So, but this video is gonna be awesome to show you um, that a car just because it's driving on the street and just because you can drive it every day to work doesn't mean that there's power not being left on the the table. Um, and you know, as I tell people too, the peak number, which we did see a nice gain in the peak number. The power band is what you're going to feel. Um, you know, every car is going to be different where the peak number is going to be. Um, some cars will be at, you know, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 RPM. So whatever, you know. Um, the power band is going to be, you know, of course, the whole drivability range. Um, you know, where VTEC kicks in, where VTEC kicks off, uh, where it doesn't kick in or kick in late, I should say. Um, you know, this is the whole thing, too, where guys will come to me or, you know, hey, VTEC should be set at 4,800. It's like, you know, well, you got to dyno tune a car to figure that out. Every car is not the same. Um, even if the motor's the same, every car, you know, wants something different. And it's ultimately what a dyno is for. It's a big tool. Uh, it's a big tool to um, calibrate the car and see what it likes the, the best, to calibrate the engine, I should say. So this video, uh, we're, I'm going to jump out later and I'm going to show you that. And this is what that video is for. So stuff like this is, uh, you know, as I said with the, uh, the other car that we did and I got to upload the video to me, at least, you know, yes, 500 horsepower cars are fun. 700 horsepower cars are fun. But to me, it's, uh, it's fun seeing the difference before and after, whether it be, you know, 200 horsepower, uh, 250 horsepower. Um, and then ultimately knowing the customer is going to feel that on the street. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to get some footage here. I'm going to do a follow-up with the customer, see how it feels afterwards, and I will upload this video. Hopefully everyone has been having a great day, good week, whatever. Take care, guys. What's going on guys? So it is 8.33 in the morning. I'm gonna try to keep my head in the uh, camera here and look at the camera. Um, 
I wanted to wait a full day to get the results of this car more so, uh, get the results from the customer, the feedback. There you go. Uh, it's early in the morning here. I wanted to get, uh, before it gets hectic here, I wanted to get a video. Uh, I was here until about 9 p.m. yesterday. Uh, I got in about 7 uh, a.m. yesterday as well, so pulling some long hours to get stuff done. Uh, he did respond. Yesterday I told him he might even feel a difference on the way home, but it was really hot out, um, so he might not see that big of a difference, or feel that big of a difference, I should say. Um, but he did say yesterday night that the car did feel much more awake, and then this morning, uh, sorry, I'm trying to stabilize the camera here. He did say this morning there's a huge difference uh, on the highway. He definitely enjoyed the car a little bit more, and uh, I actually I actually printed this up because I always forget exactly what people say when I go on camera. Um, he said where we set the rev limiter was perfect. Um, car feels a hell of a lot different. So all in all, a success. And I'm going to flip the camera around here. I'm not going to show you the max horsepower gain, as I said, or I've been saying in videos. A lot of guys want to keep that stuff private. Um, I have to respect that um, of my customers. These YouTube videos are for enjoyment for you guys um, to, to kind of help you better understand stuff, uh, see the difference before and after with the tune. And like I said with this car, and I told the customer, he drove the car on the street. It had a, it had a base map from Honda, which was running super rich, which is usually the norm, um, which will rob power. And, you know, I told him, some people just think, hey, my car's running, it's running good. Um, and I actually asked him a question. It was kind of a, it was kind of a, what's the, what's the word? Um, um, I forgot the word, but I asked him a question. I said, how did VTEC feel before this? And he said, yeah, it felt good. Well, I'm going to flip the graph around. I'm going to show you why I'm talking about that. I'm going to stay on topic and I'm going to talk to you about VTEC right now. And you see the difference. Um, the red line is what it came in with. So VTEC did feel good. Um, or, you know, you could say on the butt dyno, as people say, you know, it felt good. But look at the power that is being lost. Yes, VTEC is going to feel like it, as people will say, hits harder. But it doesn't mean anything if you're losing that power. So if I grab the mouse, and I am in, I am in need of a mouse pad. And as I said, it is 8.36 in the morning. Um, look at the difference. This is, this is horsepower. 25 horsepower difference. So that is what you're going to feel. And then if you go up to red line, you see, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, the camera. Uh, you could see the power dipping off as before, and then it's going up. Um, I told him the lines are a little bit squiggly. I told him what he needs to do to kind of kind of fix that, kind of explain to him, um, you know, what was going on up there. A um, couple, couple things to make the setup a little more efficient, um, but it is what it is on that aspect. Um, and then we're going to switch the graph over to torque and... Um, like I said, I'm trying to get the camera, I'm trying to keep the camera still, trying to um, get all this stuff. And there's the torque and the difference with when, where VTEC compares, uh, VTEC hits. So that's a big difference. That is what you're going to feel. And torque all the way around is he's making more torque, um, you know, all the way up to red line. So that's, that's a big deal. That's the stuff you're going to feel. Um, it's not all about max horsepower numbers. Don't get stuck on that. You know, that's what I tell people. So all in all, um, I'm happy with it. I was very excited. I was waiting for him this morning to, to message me. I told him I'd probably be excited even yesterday to message me at night to let me know how it feels. As I have said before too, it's not all about high horsepower cars. Um, at least for me before and after results, it, it's exciting to me. This is what it, it, it's good to see it, um, especially that he's going to feel this. So, as I always say, if anybody has questions, comments, message me below. I'll try to do my best to get back to you guys. Take care, guys. Enjoy the day.